Hello and welcome. In this video, we are discussing about Java OOPS concepts. So we will learn about the basics of object-oriented programming. So object-oriented programming is a paradigm that provides many concepts such as inheritance, data binding, automorphism, etc. So object, the main aim of object-oriented programming is to implement real-world entities. For example, object, classes, abstraction, inheritance, polymorphism, etc. So, object-oriented programming system. So, object means a real-world entity such as pen, chair, table, computer, watch, etc. Object-oriented programming is a methodology or paradigm to design a program using classes and objects and it simplifies software development and maintenance by providing some concepts object class inheritance polymorphism abstraction encapsulation and apart from these concepts there are some other terms which are used in object oriented design coupling cohesion association aggregation composition so object oriented programming system object class inheritance polymorphism abstraction and encapsulation first object so any entity that has state and behavior is known as an object for example a chair pen table keyboard bike etc it can be physical or logical an object can be defined as an instance of a class an object contains an address and it takes up some space in memory. Objects can communicate without knowing the details of each other's data or code. And the only necessary thing is the type of message accepted and the type of response returned by the objects. Example: A dog is an object because it has states like color, name, breed, etc. As well as behaviors like wagging the tail, barking, eating, etc. Class Collection of objects is called a class. It is a logical entity. A class can also be defined as a blueprint from which you can create an individual object. Class doesn't consume any space. Inheritance so when one object acquires all the properties and behaviors of a parent object, it is known as inheritance and it provides code reusability. It is used to achieve runtime polymorphism. Polymorphism. If one task is performed in different ways, it is known as polymorphism. For example, to convince the customer differently to draw something, for example, shape, triangle, rectangle, etc. In Java, we use method overloading and method overriding to achieve polymorphism. Another example can be to speak something, for example, cat speaks meow, dog barks woof, etc. Abstraction. So hiding internal details and showing functionality is known as abstraction. For example, phone call, we don't know the internal processing. And in Java, we use abstract class and interface to achieve abstraction. Encapsulation. Binding or wrapping code and data together into a single unit are known as encapsulation. For example, a capsule, it is wrapped with a different medicines. And a Java class is the example of encapsulation. And Java bean is the fully encapsulated class because all the data members are private here. Coupling. Coupling refers to the knowledge or information or dependency of another class. It arises when classes are aware of each other. And if a class has the detailed information of another class, there is strong coupling. In Java, we use private, protected and public modifiers to display the visibility level of a class, method and field. And you can use interfaces for the weaker coupling because there is no concrete implementation. Cohesion. 
Cohesion refers to the level of a component which performs a single well-defined task. A single well-defined task is done by a highly cohesive method. The weakly cohesive method will split the task into separate parts. The java.io package is a highly cohesive package because it has I.O. related classes and interface. However, the java.util.package is a weakly cohesive package because it has unrelated classes and interfaces. Association So association represents the relationship between the objects and here one object can be associated with one object or many objects and there can be four types of association between objects one to one, one to many, many to one and many to many. So let's understand the relationship with real time examples. For example, one country have one prime member one to one and a prime minister can have many ministers one to many. Also many MPs can have one prime minister many to one and many ministers can have departments many to many. Association can be unidirectional or bidirectional. Aggregation. Aggregation is a way to achieve association. So aggregation represents a relationship where one object contains another or other objects as part of its state. And it represents weak relationship between objects. It is also termed as a has a relationship in Java. Like inheritance represents the easy relation, it's another way to reuse objects. Composition. The composition is also a way to achieve association. And the composition represents the relationship where one object contains other objects as part of its state and there is a strong relationship between the containing object and the dependent object. It is a state where containing objects do not have independent existence. If you delete parent object, all the child objects will be deleted automatically. So object oriented programming makes development and maintenance easier where in a procedure oriented programming language it is not easy to manage if code grows as project size increases. OOPS provides data hiding whereas in a procedure oriented programming language global data can be accessed from anywhere. So this was a brief discussion on object oriented programming in Java. Thanks for watching this video. Bye for now.